hello welcome back to my channel it is saturday morning over here meaning it is the perfect day for akara if you want to see how to make it keep watching don't forget to click the like button and subscribe let's get cooking The Akara process starts by peeling beans. This is my perfectly peeled beans. I peeled it last night and I have a hack for peeling beans in less than two minutes. I will plug in that video in the description box, check it out. I typically soak the beans the night before so that in the morning it is soft and ready to go very, very early. I have um, a blend of tatashe, pepper and onion and I froze it and that's what I've just put in the blender. I'm also going to be putting some fresh onion and we're going to blend all of this together. When you're making your akara, the key is to make sure you don't put a lot of liquid while blending because you need your paste to be thick. So I blend in smaller portions so that it is easy for the blender to manage and then it comes out smooth. This is the blended beans. I blended it for a long time so that it would fluff up. If you have a processor, you can also use this. What you want to do is incorporate air into the butter. So I have two portions of butter. One I added the pepper and tatashe mix and one without. So you can see they are different colors. I'm just going to put everything in that bowl. We're going to add our seasoning and we're going to start frying. To season, I add some chopped onions because I like to see the chopped onion in the akara even though I blended some before. I added some pepper and I added some salt. Sometimes I add crayfish powder but I didn't want to in this instance. And akara does not need a lot to season it. This is all basically and it will taste absolutely delicious. So make sure your akara fries perfectly. First of all, make sure you have enough oil. It needs to kind of deep fry, not shallow fry. And also make sure your oil is hot enough. I regulate the oil from time to time. If I see it's too hot, I lower it. And then when I see it's getting a bit cool, I increase it. Once I see one side is browning, I flip it to the other side. Akara does not take a long time to cook, but you do not want to increase the heat so much that it cooks so fast, it will not be done inside. So you need to make sure you regulate that heat. Once it gets to my proper definition of properly fried akara, which is like golden like this, then we can take it out and then you need something like this to just scoop it so that it will seep out all the oil. And then you can also scoop out all those little pieces because if you leave them, they burn. We're going to put in another batch and continue the cooking process. I know a lot of people struggle with akara because I get comments a lot about making the perfect akara. If you want the exact recipe for akara, I have it in my cookbook 
just get a copy it's in the link in the description box it's a digital book that you can download and just have on your phone check out the recipes that are there and try it out in your kitchen also because i have a food timetable or food planner that we use we already know that saturday morning is for akara and that means by friday evening we've peeled our beans and we've soaked it ready for saturday morning it just makes the whole process of cooking easier there was a time when i didn't have the food planner and we will struggle like and it's on saturday morning you know you wake up on saturday morning and you're like i feel like eating akara but it cannot be possible because you did not what you did not peel your beans ahead and maybe you did not even soak your beans ahead so it's not possible to just wake up and crave akara there is a process to it and which is the importance of menu planning it helps you prepare ahead and when you prepare ahead the process is easier and there's less stress and you know what you're going to eat and everybody is fine so grab a copy of my meal planner it is also linked in the description box i'll put the link there and check the comment section i'll put the link there as well if you don't know where the description box is the cookbook gives you recipes while the meal planner gives you ideas of meals that you can cook for your family especially if you're struggling to come up with things to cook for them oh yeah eat it now i've given you eat it let's even open our car up this is what it looks like inside. It's of the place. Mm -hmm. Some people love the crumbs. My husband loves the Akara crumbs. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. But we do have a few crumbs today. Mommy, They're usually so crunchy. Mommy, it's Karaka. Mm -hmm. It's Akara. It's a Karaka. Mommy, it's Karaka. Mommy, eat kawata. Mm -hmm. I want to show you my cute bowls that I bought. I bought them like six months ago. I just kept it because we were doing the kitchen and I just remembered them now. They're, they're bowls, like sets of bowls. I got it from this place called Sass and Bell on Amazon. And my personal shopper helped me bring it. I like this one. It says good food vibes. And then i like this one because it is a is this a flamingo i think so from the same place i really like them and then there's the smaller flamingo i think they are really really cute so these are my new bowls for soaking gary for eating oats for pap for whenever i need a bowl sha they're so cute and so pretty and in my favorite colors you can tell i'm really feeling my new set of pots you guys i love the color <laughs> and i love the style i need to get more of this kind of scandinavian pots they're really pretty i think i like teal i feel like teal is my secret favorite color that i didn't know is my favorite color i wore teal for my wedding because i liked it and I use teal a lot. I find I have a lot of teal clothes. And I'm like, is this my favorite color? And I don't know. <laughs> I'm using my cute bowl. Mm -hmm. And these pots, they came with like spoons. This pot came with only two spoons. I wish they came with more. Oh, my neighbor's dog does not rest these days. Always shouting. You can have your akara with oats like I am. I find it to be more filling. Or you can have it with pap. You can have it with custard. Some people have it with bread. In my cookbook, I have akara burger. <laughs> That's the recipe that I have there. So it's like a two-in-one recipe, how to make a burger, how to make akara burger, basically. And you can have akara on its own with anything. And it is really delicious, nutritious, and filling. And I always add enough milk and sugar so it is so indulgent. I love this meal so much and I look forward to it on Saturday mornings.
I hope you enjoy this Akara video or this Saturday morning video. If you want me to do more videos like this, share more recipes like this in this like casual, realistic manner, let me know in the comment section and I'll do that. Don't forget to tag me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Twitter, anywhere if you try this recipe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!